is what's called a coaxial indicator. Uh, we sell one called the Centro uh, from Hymer. It's a very nice tool. Um, the biggest thing about this is the indicator itself can sp is independent from the spinning of the, uh, the indicator. So I can set the dial to a position that I can read and spin the indicator around and get a good reading on it. So very useful in this case, so I don't have to pull out my cell phone or a mirror. Um, I can just look at the dial the entire time. So um, one thing I do need to do is I need to hold it in something. So I'm going to use this three-jaw chuck to hold the shaft. Extend this guy out. So the antenna is just something to help hold the indicator in place. So you just position it somewhere. You want to make sure you don't bang it into your dovetail too much. But the idea is that now, as I spin this, this antenna is keeping the indicator from spinning. So now just to show you how this would work on this tool. Not quite. So I'm just changing the direction. Right now, it's, if I push on it, it reads um, from this direction. If I push on it from this direction, it's not reading. There's a little dial here. I just flip this around. And now it's reading the, the opposite direction. So as I push this in, there we go. So I go as far where I can read all the way around. So as you can see here, I'm on, on the bottom. This is in metric, by the way. So um, that is one difference. This is in metric, not inches. I am 10 microns, so 100 microns lower and uh, 40 microns on the top. So I'm not actually centered. So using the mag base while it got me close isn't exact. Um, so another advantage of the Centro is it's a more precise tool. So now I do the same thing. The numbers actually don't matter too much because I just want to get, um, I just want to get it reading the same thing. So zero. Four, two, now I moved to tenth, so I'm moving smaller increments. So now I'm on three on top, just about three on the bottom. So just hair over on either side. And as you can see, I'm also in my tool height, I'm not perfect. I could use another shim, but um, luckily with drilling, if you're within couple thousandths, um, that's usually close enough. So when you're 20, 30 thou off, that's when you need to be uh, a little bit more uh, careful with your setup. So now that I have this uh, center in an X, I'll go back, and it looks like we were off by six, uh, seven thou in diameter. Um, but one thing to keep in mind, we're only three thou away from where our center previous was, because mo the table moves in, a, in the radius, but we read the diameter. So we're actually only three thou off from where we were supposed to be. So like I said, the dial indicator set up on a mag base gets you pretty close, um, good enough um, if that's what you have, but the Centro is something that's just a little bit more precise. I go to the same touch off method, make sure I'm the right tool, zero, enter, enter again to touch, and we can see zero in the DRO. Now I'm gonna do two number 12 which is my drill. So I was using the, the smooth part of the center drill to touch off. So now I'm going to use the flutes of the drill, but it's hard to get the flutes right on the top and the bottom of the, uh, of the X motion. And that's okay. That's okay. We don't need to get right on there. As long as we're at the same point for, um, if we're too high or too uh, low, as long as we're the same distance off from the center, it'll get uh, negated out. So adjust my indicator a little bit so we make sure we push on the drill, okay? So right now I'm gonna make sure I always spin this um, in the counterclockwise direction. The reason I'm doing this because if I spin it clockwise, it'll hook on my drill like it's trying to cut and I don't wanna um, get hooked in that uh, helix groove. Um, so I'll always rotate it counterclockwise. So now you can see um, I'm way off. So again, I gotta 
get closer. So sometimes it just takes some eye eyeballing to get it reading. All right, so now I'm at two and around uh, 14. So I'll come over here and I'm under two, oop, under two, but I'm closer to 45. So I need to get somewhere around the 30 range. So I'll grab X. Let's go right to 30. So it peaks at about, what is that? Uh, 28, around, there we're at 33, so I'm going to switch to tenths, now I'm at 31, and I'm at 31. You can see how the central makes really quick work of it having that dial facing you. So again, it's just as simple as going and changing my tool. Number 12 is when I'm touching off. I have the right uh, picture in there. I want zero, touch X, and that's it. So now I have my drills touched off thanks to the use of a coaxial indicator, and we are ready to use them to cut some parts. Now, because I have a new part and I need to set my Z work coordinate system. I'm going, to use, I'm going to use my roughing tool to set my Z work coordinate system. It doesn't have to be very precise because my program is going to take off 50 thousandths of stock. So I just need to make sure that my Z0 is in the stock a little bit. And if you look at the tool, um, you'll see that it's just barely inside. So again, I need to make sure I have tool 9 because that's my roughing tool. Okay. And we're not going to do anything. This is the tool touch off. That's good. We want to do work coordinate system. And so right now I want to tell it that my Z is zero with that tool a little bit inside the part. Now I'm going to back the tool off just a little bit. Close my HUD. Program is loaded and hit cycle start. Always want to make sure your work surfaces are clean. It's always a good idea to make sure there's no chips where your tool holders are, especially in a quick change, because uh, that will affect your accuracy. So I have my little uh, replaceable hammer face. It's got a Cut off the, the pip from uh, gro uh, the groove tool, and uh, I have a nice hammer face to use. So we just started our mill. We found our work coordinate system. We then used a uh, magnetic base with a test indicator and then a coaxial indicator to touch off our uh, drills, and then we used it to cut apart. So um, if you like uh, this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe and uh, look for other videos on YouTube.